For one, I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Man, I tell you what, my Elgato does not like this game. Can't tell you what I just went through just to get that uh, intro dialogue in there. <laughs> uh, 
That all said, how's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into a more Red Dead Redemption. Because what else was I gonna do? <laughs> I mean, come on, all honesty. I mean, I put the poll up just for an excuse to see who picks what anyway, and my only surprise, as I've said a few times, is that Ghost Recon came in second. That actually surprised me. Personally, I just can't wait for Breakpoint to come out. That all said, welcome to the world of Red Dead Redemption. Our first introduction to John Marston as gamers. Hey, how you doing? You're drunk as all hell. Let's see what trouble we can get into, shall we? Marston! Mr. Marston, over here. You seem busy. I don't think I want to interrupt. Also, my apologies for the lack of subtitles. You I'll fix that. John Marston. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to gag you. They ain't my friends. I'm pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. You know, it still amazes me to this day how good this game actually does look, all things considered. I mean, by today's standards, it's not that great, but honestly... This is pretty legit. <laughs> Here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't run me over. Easy on the spurs now. We don't need to draw undue attention. Yeah. This is gonna feel really weird. Yeah, okay. Thankfully, that didn't change. I can sort of remember how to do that. Well, it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians or... Maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? Nothing. I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Is it me or does this seem slower? I mean, I know we just came off Red Dead Redemption 2 where everything was kind of Are like spit polished, but. Any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? This just feels slow it. as balls. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> a little cast of characters right out of the gate. But no, seriously, this seems slower. This feels slower. Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. I mean, Deal. kind of isn't. Yeah. You ain't very talkative, are you? No. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. What a waste of good meat. Not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Ah, uh, Fort Mercer. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Ominous.
Before we go any further, let me go ahead and turn subtitles on, because that's going to bug crap out of me until then. Uh, should be... No, no. Hopefully that doesn't screw with my audio again. I don't know. Brightness, contrast, saturation, kill effects, subtitles. There we go. And we should be good to go. My apologies, I didn't fix that when I was screwing with the audio settings before. I'm definitely going to be eyeballing my levels now, make sure I can actually catch the dialogue. But if I don't, at least there's subtitles. Oh, Billy Boy. Marilyn. Come on. This game still looks pretty good, all things considered. Being on an old gen console. Well, previous gen console. Someone gonna talk so I can check my levels, please? Bill! Thank you. Bill, I've come for you! All good. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Oh, Billy boy! We has words! Go away now, John! Don't make me kill you! Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill! Hello. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. You are. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? I might. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. You never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. Yes. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! Uh -huh. No more Dutch! And no more you! <sighs> Implored. I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Ow. Oh. <laughs> Poor Jeff. Well, that's the end of Red Dead Redemption. I hope you all enjoy- I'm freaking kidding. <laughs> but I gotta say, like, that is such an awkward start to anything. And kind of cliche, come to think of it. How many games have you played in your past where right out of the gate the hero gets shot? And like stealthy, stealthy mice, we are our way. Feels weird playing this again after all these years. Hello. I'm not decent. Well, alive. I am that, but so I'm not decent. Seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. Fair. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh... Marston. John Marston. 
Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. Chance. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Dumber. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh... What will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. Heaven forbid. That in mind. Ah. <sighs> well. Welcome to McFarland Ranch. God, it's nostalgic being here again. Okay. Double check my controls real quick. Holster. Okay, that's still that. No idea what that does. That's nothing. That's jump. Don't know what that is. That's run. That's hitch a horse. Alrighty. Probably gonna need a brush and rust off. Back in the land of the living, I see. Mostly. I figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. If you insist. Sorry. I'm so used to everyone pushing me out of their way. Man, I've missed Bonnie. I'm really happy to do There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. How do you do, sir? I'm really happy they included her. Bye. In... Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bear. Red Dead Redemption Online, thank you. Come Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Sweet lord. This is going to be another commentary nightmare, isn't it? Where I'm not sure where I'm allowed to talk or not. One quick moment, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, back to what we were doing. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. That's a good point, actually. I know of one with a fence. I used to have a store. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? Actually, First it was sheep. impressions are hard to erase. I hustled sheep. I never hustled horses. I have stolen some horses, now that I remember that. That's the train station. Was it the greatest sure of the great the line finally got finished. I don't remember. In all Ooh, whoa, what is happening? Like whoa! Yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. I'll say, there's a damn speed. Jeez. Also, is this my damn war horse? That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. This is my war horse. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. <laughs> well, are we going inside? I suppose. How about a 
cold drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. You know, I wonder if John wasn't married, if he would have gone for Bonnie. I know I would have. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Yeah. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really it's beautiful at around this time. Old school Spencer. It's a starter rifle. It's not that great, John. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Can't be that dangerous. God, that music, though. That's something that was always great, no matter if it's good. Freaking ten years from now. Get up! Let's go. Keep your eyes open. And try not to get yourself shot again. No promises. I have a habit of getting myself shot at. A lot. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Feminine intuition. again. Get down and give me a hand, will you? Whoa! Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these. Can't skin these little buggers? Ah, huh, I'm a little sad now. Oh well. We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. Freaking neighbors? What the hell? Come on. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Okay, but where? Where? Oh. There they are. Gosh, it's been a while since I aim with this thing. Come on! That's it, you're kill! That's it! Damn coyotes! Woo. Well, we got rid of the coyotes. I just wish we'd saved all the chickens. Come on, I'll show you the way to your room. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. Practice. It's something I've had a little experience in. Yeah. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Beyonce. I believe the town of Blackwater would benefit from some kind of parade. God, it's been ages since I played this. I'm trying to remember like every little facet and little trick here. I don't have any outfits right out of the gate, do I? Hmm? Apparently 
think I have one. The gentleman's attire. We're not wearing that, though. That's gonna be forever. I may not get into that kind of stuff in all honesty. Like, I like some of the downloadable content outfits, but frankly, eh. Always end up going with something that I just picked up. The duster coat, the poncho, stuff like that, just depending where I'm at. Alright, where are we at for time? Uh, I could cut it here, but nah, we'll do. We'll try to do one more mission before I cut anything here. I do like making these longer. My net speed certainly doesn't like it, though. But thankfully, I've been recording this on a Saturday. I know I said I was going to end voting on Sunday for the poll, but in all honesty... There's no way in hell anything's catching up to where Red Dead Redemption was at. And if so, screw it, I'll just upload something else. So if you're watching this, I guess we're well past that point. Oh, Bonnie! Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you, how are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. Nah. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. That was cute. I don't care who you are, that was cute. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I might be out of practice, but... Yeah. Not that much out of practice. Okay, I'm really out of practice on this, though. <clears throat> on the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! Man, it's been a while since I've had to manage stamina on this. I got this though, I got this. Lock, stock, and smoke and effing barrel. Come on. Let's go. Okay, I might be. you're starting to Shit. I'm wrong. I got cocky. I'm sorry. Oh, this is annoying. 
Come on. I got this. I totally have this. Come on. Ah. that bloody finish line. There it is. There it is. Yeah! And I win. Whoa. I miss racing Jack. That was fun. Sure. <clears throat> you know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Nice. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarlane. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Well, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That's it. I think we're going to cut it there for now. Ugh. Oh, got a cramp in my damn hand, sadly. As usual, though, I hope you all enjoyed, and, I, and if you did enjoy, hey, a great way of showing that support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and by all means, sharing around with your friends. Ugh. Really hope this one doesn't stretch on to 60 plus freaking episodes of me doing this. Ugh. That all said, either way, it's going to be a fun ride. So, once again, thank you all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye bye then.